What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here and today we have a data mine that may lead to exactly how many games are going to be coming to the Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pass N64 and possibly another system altogether. <laughs> There's been no shortage of people saying that they're holding off on getting NSO Plus Expansion Pack because it's a ripoff, or they're going to wait until there's more games, things like that. But with a data mine that came out yesterday at 10.31 p.m. on Reset Era, we may actually now know how many games are coming to Nintendo Switch Online. So there's a nice little article on my Nintendo News that came out today. But going back to the original source, we see that a user by the name of Mondo Mega posted on the Reset Era forum with this information here of initial data mining of Nintendo Switch Online app. And it has listed that there are 38 N64 games planned for this service. Now do keep in mind that planned for this service does not mean that we are guaranteed going to be getting 38 games. But if we look on here, we could see the, the ID on here for the Japanese release number, US and PAL. With that, we also have the title in Japanese and English, the publisher and the release date. We see that, you know, all of them are 1026 because that was the day that they were released. Number seven is Dr. Mario 64. Number 13 is Mario Kart 64. 17, Mario Tennis. 29, Sin and Punishment. 30, Star Fox. 31, Super Mario 64. 34, Win Back Operations. 36, Yoshi Story. And 38, Ocarina of Time. From the pre-release information, we know that they plan to add seven more titles, including Banjo Kazooie, F-Zero X, Kirby 64, Mario Golf, Paper Mario, the original, Pokemon Snap, and Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. The original nine, the additional seven equals 16 so that would be 16 of the 38 spaces being populated on this data mine which means that 22 more games are planned now when i say plan i mean the ids are here and they're in numerical order so it would infer that you know it's going to be in that order we don't know exactly if it is going to be all of these although they did say that they have plans for more to be coming so ideally 38 N64 titles. If we're getting a lot of them being first party games, that's fantastic. The rare games I'm excited for, and the creme de la creme if we're getting GoldenEye 007. Who knows? Only time will tell. In addition, there is this following post. The Mega Drive has 52 IDs programmed inside of here. From everything from Castlevania, Shinobi, Strider, Sonic 2, Shining Force, Ristar, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Fantasy Star, Musha, Gunstar Heroes, Golden Axe, Echo, Contra, Streets of Rage, and a lot more spaces. It would make sense that if they are doing the Sega games, we're getting at least two, maybe three more Sonics in there, maybe even 3D Blast, who knows. But the interesting part that was derived from all of this, if we were to look at this list, we could see that all of the IDs start with 3, 0, and then the number, 0, 7, 13, 17, which corresponds to this number here. If we were to look at the Sega Genesis games, we have 5, 0, and then the ID. We already know that the NES is 1, 0, the Super NES is 2, 0, the N64 is 3, 0, Sega Genesis is is 5-0. The question is, what is 4-0? Maybe some of those initial reports that said that we were going to be getting Game Boy games coming to the service weren't entirely inaccurate and they were even slated in there to be released. Who knows? But it does seem like there is going to be a 5-0. If it's going to be part of this same expansion pack program or if it's going to be something completely different, we have no idea. But the simple fact that we're getting 38 N64 games coming for this service, which, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not even counting. I'm not even counting all the Sega games. Barely gonna play. But the Nintendo games, I'm gonna play those a lot. The shirt helps. Which, honestly, if you say that 38 of these games are going to be not enough to be worth $30 a year, uh, that's still you and you're entitled to your opinion. I would see that as being a far stretch. Then again, I hold these games near and dear to my heart. You're all welcome to your own opinions. I was giving this some thought and I really feel like they're missing out on something here because a large portion of the audience isn't necessarily my age and maybe a younger audience and has no idea if they actually want to play these games or if it's worth the investment. 
Maybe like a one week free trial for just the N64 and Genesis games, not the Animal Crossing. Maybe we'll see something like that come at the holiday season or possibly in Q1 next year. I think that would be really healthy for the service for them to, you know, let people try out these games to see if it's actually worthwhile. Then again, you know, you could spend 40 hours in Paper Mario by itself, so there's always that. I see this as absolutely nothing short of amazing news that we have potentially 38 games coming to the N64 system, including release titles, 52 games coming to the Sega system, including release titles, and possibly a third system coming. I'm very excited for that. I want to know your thoughts down below. Let's keep this conversation going. Leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.